What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys today we'll be looking at one of my favorite decks in the game this deck's kind of off meta uh, but it's seriously strong and you will definitely be wrecking people and it's really easy to use really easy deck so let's check out the deck and we are running alakabam so we've got two abras two kadabras and two alakazams and what makes Alakazam so strong is we only need three energy and we're doing 60 damage, but we also do an extra 30 for each energy attached to our opponent. So most of the big cards, you know, it's going to be three or four energy. Um, so that's going to be an extra 90 or 120 damage on top. So he does slap really hard. Um, I guess one of his weaknesses is that he's kind of on the low side for HP. But he does slap. I guess the other thing that's really good about him as well is he's not an EX. So he's only going to cost you one. It's only going to give the enemy one point if he dies. So that's not too bad. Uh, and then we've got coughing and wheezing. I love a stall deck and no one stalls better than wheezing. Um, seriously tanky, 110 HP. Do 30 damage and we can poison. So he's not doing a lot of damage, but you know he can chip away. And he can stall. He's just there for the stall. And again, not an EX card, so he's going to save us. If we does go down, we're not losing a lot of points. We're going to go double potion, double pokeball. Going to take Professor's Research. And we're taking Koga. I think Koga's a card that not many people use, but he can actually be a real lifesaver. I've seen people run double Koga. I feel like one's enough, to be honest. And what you do is you have like wheezing up front, Alakazam in the back. You're sort of building up Alakazam and then you can choose to, you know, let wheezing maybe do a little bit of work for you, just sort of chip away. And then when he's low on HP, pull him back into your hand, then bring in Alakazam and just get the one shot. Uh, it's a legit strategy, pretty solid. And then we're going to use obviously Giovanni for that extra plus 10 damage can be useful. And then Sabrina just to swap out cards from the back so we can... Uh, just drop people like no one's business. So let's get um, let's get some matches on the way. Opponent found. Flash. Oh. Okay, let's see what they're running. Nice to meet you too. All right, so we're going second. And coffin in hand. I do like to start with uh, Coffin going first, just, you know, really tanky. We've got Dark Energy as well, which is always good. And if we just pull Weezing, that'd be pretty sweet. Mewtwo EX. Now, this could be a problem. Uh, Mewtwo is a pretty good counter to Alakazam. However... Um, so... The reasons that Mewtwo is really good is that Psychic Sphere is only two energy, and then Psychic Drive is 150 damage. So it's a one shot, but we also discard two energy. So it means that we're going to do less damage to Mewtwo. So Mewtwo can be a little bit of a problem. But yeah, I can see things are not going in our favor just yet at all, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's not going well. Already, he seems to be getting, you know, he's already got Kadabra. He's got his Mewtwo EX out as well. This could be a little bit of a struggle. But, I mean, if Weezing, Weezing be able to take out Mewtwo, is pretty crazy. Like, I feel like Weezing is a really underrated card. But um, obviously not great for damage, but he does chip. And the HP is so tanky, especially for non-EX for a non-EX card. All right, Psychic Drive's coming in. We've got Giovanni, so definitely going to be dropping that, and we will take out Mewtwo next turn. And that's going to also, you know, we're going to get two points from that. Oh, that was smart. He decided to switch things out. That was definitely the right thing to do. So I'm going to be a little bit cheeky, and we're going to counterplay that with Sabrina. 
Just trying to think, where should I put this energy? Yeah, let's put it onto wheezing. So yeah, so we're going to switch it out. He's either going to bring out, he's got to bring out one of those two, and we're going to drop them. That is, that is the plan. Okay, so he's basically values Mewtwo over Kadabra. But the problem with that is that, well, he's going to have to recharge his Mewtwo, which is not going to be easy. Ah, oh, Kadabra's weakness is dark Pokemon as well. Sweet. Oh, and the same for Mewtwo. Not paying attention, guys. Not paying attention at all. So I guess that makes this deck even more... Oh, you could not write it. Okay, so let's let's bring them out again. Someone is going down. Okay, gas leak. And good old tackle. That's it. Kadabra down. So, yeah, I, I feel like we're not even going to see... Alakazam in action, which is a bit of a shame because he is a real beast when he starts popping off. But uh, it's cool. Like, you guys are going to get to see Wheezing in action. And yeah, he's a. I forget how much of a great counter he actually is to the Mewtwo meta because this is a. Mewtwo is a really frustrating deck to deal with. Uh, I don't feel like this guy is playing the best deck for it, but, you know, it is what it is. Down to 10 cards. If we can just get a Pokeball. Or an Abra, that would be great. But yeah, so 10 cards. And yeah, so four cards in there that we need. Like 2.5 of getting it. So not too bad. Oh. So she does 30 damage. Oh, so she's a quite... Oh, oh, that is a big slap from Jinx. Oh, 100 damage. That is crazy. All right, there we go. Got Abra. Going to have to drop that energy straight onto Abra. I'm just trying to think, do we heal Weezing? Well, do, I feel, do we drop Koga instead? Get Weezing back in hand. Drop Coughing. And then evolve back into Weezing. I mean, I didn't think I was going to be able to showcase that today. But that is just kind of shows you how strong Koga can be. Like, I don't want to oversell him and say, like, oh, he's the best card ever. But he is still pretty solid. And that is a sweet, like, little move you can do. Just bring it out. And we basically, that's almost like, you know, we just healed up 100 HP. That is crazy good. Not many cards can do that. Oh, so we've got Haunter. But yeah, we'll be able to take out Haunter in sort of two turns. So nothing too scary going on. Okay. Straight into Kadabra. Leaking that gas. And then coming in with the tackle. And I feel like this guy is going to be so frustrated to basically just lose to Weezing without us even having to use Alakazam. I mean, I'm surprised he doesn't give up. Oh. Gengar's coming in hot. I was not expecting that. Okay, Alakazam. A little bit annoying. I don't think we're going to be able to get to use him. We've got no uh, X speeds in this deck. So coming in with like 50 damage. 
and next turn he will definitely drop. I guess the only good thing is you are going to see how hard Alakazam slaps. But yeah, pretty, pretty even match compared, considering we almost just wiped their entire team just using Weezing. <laughs> James and Jesse would be proud. And all right, here comes Alakazam. Get ready for the one shot. Look at the damage. Here it comes. And, oh, and of course, of course he conceded. But wheezing, wheezing just being an absolute boss. Let's let's uh, let's go on to the next one. Battle number two. Opponent found. Slimmery. I'm a beginner, so go easy on me. Going second, always, always the preferred. All right, nice. Got coffin and wheezing in Stein Hand. Probably, probably one of the best Stein Hands you can get. We've also got Kadabra as well. So new two EX again. I mean, to be fair, this is this is so meta that this is pretty much what most people run, which makes things a little bit boring. But with Pokeball, hopefully we're gonna land a Abra. Really, really want to try and show off Alakazam for you guys because. When he starts popping off, he is so good. So good. Oh, so if we get that Abra, we've got a full house. That's what I'm talking about. There we go, guys. So we're just going to leave it one turn. And yeah, obviously next turn, Coffin will get that Dark Energy. That is one of the problems when you run like a, a mixed deck, though, is that you can... Just get the wrong energy on repeat and you sort of lose a little bit of control as well, which can be frustrating. Um, but I feel like with Coffin, like Weezing counters Mewtwo so hard. We should just blitz through that pretty easy. I think Farfetch is actually low-key broken. Um, you know, it's a basic 60 HP. Leak Slap is 40 damage. For one energy. I don't think there's any any other cards that do that much damage for one energy. It's just crazy, crazy good. Okay, and then a big slap from Weezing. So that's 60 damage. We just need to stall it out just a little bit just so we can get Alakazam into play. Yeah, I love the artwork on this card. Though. It just looks so sick. Can you? No, you can't sort of twiddle the cards. But yeah, but yeah, insane, insane artwork. Oh, so he's going to bring out Farfetch instead. That's an interesting play. Well, Farfetch will be dead in two turns. And again, this is so frustrating. I feel like we're not going to be able to sort of showcase Alakazam just because this person will probably concede. I can, I can feel it, guys. I can feel it. Okay, so we're going to drop the Professor. Oh. So we're getting like the perfect hands now. Okay, so gas leak. Good old rugby tackle. Okay, so obviously Farfetch is going to drop pretty quickly. And we just need to one-shot Mewtwo and that's it. It's game over, guys. And things are going pretty strong in our favour. Even if my Alakazam drops, we've still got another one. Oh, cheeky. Very, very. Oh, that was extremely cheeky. Extremely cheeky. Okay, so what's he going to do? Yep. 
And so we're going to basically kill Farfetch. To be fair, yeah, let's just go for the kill. And then he's going to have to drop Mewtwo. That's good. Drops Mewtwo. I will switch out Weezing and drop in Alakazam. So this is probably one of my favorite sort of plays to do with this deck. Just uh, let's wait for Mewtwo to do his thing. And then, oh no, we're not going to have to do it. I was going to drop Koga, pull back in Weezing and then drop Alakazam. However, he's going to one shot Weezing. Or is he going to concede? Come on. Don't stall me out, bro. This is the, one of the only things that really frustrates me about this game is when they know they're going to lose and they just start sort of taking their time, wasting everyone's time. He kind of needs Mewtwo to retreat, but he's still, we're still going to be getting one shots. Okay, so to be fair, he's trying to use like, he's not in the best situation. He's trying to make some big boy plays, but it's not going to be enough. But if you're going to take it so seriously, we're going to, Gonna be serious too. And I do love that about Koga as well, because we've literally just got coughing and wheezing back. And they're at full HP, just so good. Alright, so one shot on Farfetch. So even with the psychic not doing crazy damage right now, 60 damage but for most basics, you're gonna get the one shot if they've got zero energy. Of course, if they've got energy, you're going to do 90. There's very, very few basics that are going to be able to handle that. I mean, obviously, Mewtwo's a basic, but I don't really count it because obviously he's EX and he's like a, one of the best cards in the game, to be fair. So we're going to do 120. We don't have Giovanni. No Giovanni. This is going to be a bit of a problem. Seven cards left. Only one Giovanni in this pack. Ooh, down to three cards already. Cheeky. Yeah, this Mewtwo card though has to be one of the best. Like art, art style, just so good. Ooh, gonna swap it out, which is very frustrating. All right, we'll do Coffin. I don't care if he gets the one shot or not. Because we're going to retreat anyway. Oh, all right. They're still going. They're still going strong. Okay. Weezing's going to retreat. Just trying to see what else we can do. And yeah, we're going to retreat. I think he just wants to kill my Alakazam. That's why he sort of held on to that, just that two energies. And then next turn, he's going to one shot me with side drive. But it's all good. No matter what happens next turn, Mewtwo is going down. Yeah, there we go, guys. But um, yeah, you can see like Alakazam is a really strong card. But paired up with Weezing as well, like Weezing has done a lot of work for us in this video. Um, just he's like a crazy, crazy car. But when Alakazam starts popping off, he's a real beast. He's an absolute beast. Uh, one of my favorite decks. Really, really enjoy this one. Really, really fun to play and pretty easy to set up as well. Uh, Koga as well, like really surprised me. Like it's quite cool when you when it does work and it pops off. It is all good. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Let me know. Do you guys play with Alakazam? Do you run like different versions of this deck? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash.
that subscribe and I'll see you all in a video soon. Peace.